first half. Um, I've obviously made reference to a pizza parking lot uh, yesterday and, and the fight and the grit. Um, and I thought that that's what that took today. I'm really proud of my group. Um, I'm really proud of the, the, the connectivity, the warrior mentality I thought we had. Um, the first half was about as good defensively as I felt like we've played in a long, long time. And uh, uh, this game took on a real similar identity to the, second, to the first game in Champaign. Uh, we came out foul, 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 foul. Um, you know, got them on the line. It was about a year ago at this time that uh, Demetric Trice at Wisconsin had one of those very similar nights that uh, uh, Tyson had tonight. Um, we forced hard twos. Those were hard twos other than the one three he made. Um, he made them. Give him credit. Um, I, I thought we did a great job on Gabe. I thought we did a really good job on Max. Um, and, and we forced two guys who haven't been big scorers for him to try to score the ball to beat us. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, I say this all the time. Jacob Grandison is a guy that I trust more than anything. Uh, he's in the gym at 3 o'clock the other night after coming back from Rutgers, he and Plummer. And it so often happens, really good things happen to you when you, when you tackle adversity and you, you, you come out on the other side of it. But uh, uh, Kofi was, was excellent, uh, dominant. Uh, he's had two great days of practice. Um, and then Trent Frazier. And I got to admit, it was a broken play. He went way too early uh, on the play we had called and uh, just jumps up and makes a play, you know, just made a shot. And it doesn't matter these he's 0 for 5 or 0 for 6 the first half. He just makes a shot. So um, good win for us, uh, bouncing back uh, after a lackluster performance at Rutgers. But um, um, I'm proud of this group and, and uh, thought we did a lot of good things tonight. Coaches, uh, second chance points were a big a stat in this game. Can you comment on the the effort on the offensive glass? Well, we, I think we've been out-rebounded seven of our last nine or something we're close to that. I don't know if that's exactly right, uh, but it's um, uh, it, it's enough. It's enough. Um, you know, I was concerned coming into the game. I mean, obviously, that's what Michigan State does is rebound. Uh, but um, um, we had to get other, rebound, other guys rebounding beyond Kofi. And... Uh, too often we take him for granted because he gets rebounds. But uh, I thought tonight our activity was much better. Um, obviously, Jake's Jake had a couple uh, offensive rebounds. Kofi was obviously dominant with five. But uh, uh, Kofi's energy was terrific tonight. Brad, you really challenged your guys. What was there a point over the last couple of days that you knew that that had resonated like this? I thought it felt pretty good about it the, the first day. Um, and then I... Uh, um, was harder and more demanding the second, and they responded and really challenged them. And, and this group has a lot of, uh, um, they, they had a lot of fun last year winning it, and they, they know what it's about, and we needed to get back to that, and we needed to develop a little more of a, a warrior mentality, as I call it, and uh, um, felt pretty good about that. High character guys in, this, in that locker room. Brad, was Coleman's activity and energy especially helpful in that first half and noticeable? Yes, yes. Uh, he made one mistake helping off Hauser, which is, you know, just about as big a sin as we can have on that end. But uh, but his activity, his, you know, his energy, uh, it's amazing. You know, the ball goes in uh, when you have that kind of energy. Um, I liked our bench tonight. I'm, I'm really trying to find a rotation pattern. Um, and uh, I felt pretty good about that tonight and, and uh, making sure the guys had the right type of minutes. And, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, Coleman was terrific. Brad, to come in here and get your first win at Breslin as head coach here um, and stay atop the uh, tide in the Big Ten, does that mean anything to you to, to get one from a guy I know you respect so much, Tom Izzo? Yeah, his is the best. I mean, our, our business has been – our business was made great because of guys like Tom. And uh, uh, to not want to follow a lot of his lead and pattern, and we talk a lot, and you know we think a lot alike in terms of s the way the game should be played, and 
and, and the character of the young man. And, <clears throat> um, you know, obviously he's been, he's a Hall of Famer. So, um, you know, it, it, it was important for me because I haven't won here. So it's a box checked. Um, and, uh, you know, it just so happens it keeps us in first. You guys know I don't worry too much about the standings. It's next game. But, um, but yeah, it felt good to come in here and, you know, and, and um, be able to check a box. Brad, over here. With how experienced th this group is and how much you've been with them, um, I wonder, were, were you curious to see how they were going to respond to your public comments about toughness and all of that, or did you kind of have an idea of what you were going to see today? I hoped I had an idea. I mean, it's not the first time they've heard about, you know, me taking someone to the Pizza Hut parking lot and and back in the day. And uh, but it, it's it's just it's just a mentality, and the mentality's got to be, it's February, it's hard, it's tough, nothing's easy, and 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 staying connected is is the biggest part of that and together and and, and learning to fight for 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 who we are and not our individual stuff but who we are and and so I felt pretty good about that and uh, uh, really challenged them with that and 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 I thought Kofi's leadership Trent's leadership Demonte's leadership really came through today Brad, you know, and maybe you know forcing Walker into the shots you wanted him to take and in fact, he made him. Just what did your guys do to maybe have the wherewithal to keep making plays, even though they weren't getting the stop? Yeah, the game doesn't stop. I mean, we the good thing is we went through it a year ago, and you know, in just about the same margin, and and at Wisconsin, and and you know, he had 19 points in two minutes. Um, you know, we couldn't stop him. So, it, and it was, um, I didn't want to take Kofi out. You don't have timeouts. You you you've got to keep Kofi in. Uh, we raised him a little bit higher in the ball screens, and and you know then we committed an and one. You know other than that, all of his shots were jump shots. You know that was the only and one. Uh, so you know we give him two point jump shots. I'm 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 pretty happy with that most of the time. It gets you got to make a lot of them to beat you. Brad, you said you've trusted Jake all along. Uh, back to you, Brad. Yep. You, you said you've trusted Jake all along. Uh, what did it mean for you to see him break through and, and finally get some shots to go down? And Man, that's what it's all about. Seeing really good things happen to really good people, and and I know um, he is 100% in our corner, not his corner, our corner, and and that means winning. And you know he he's got his routine. He's been as frustrated. He's down. He missed the layup at Rutgers, and literally I thought he was going to cry on the court. Uh, that kid wants to win so bad, uh, but it's his passing. It's his it's his shooting, um, and you know he's an elite shooter. Just needed maybe a little reshift of his focus, and 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 he was he was very good tonight on the defensive end as well. Coach, you went with uh, Curbelo down the stretch there. Uh, was that about trying to slow down Tyson Walker? And is that an indication that you're starting to trust him uh, a little bit more in yeah. end of game situations? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we all know that. I mean, I think, I think Dre's been in 14 practices all year. I think 14. And uh, you know, yesterday was our 85th practice. Uh, so it, it's 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 not where he's he's had a bunch of run and uh, but he stayed after practice he was getting a lot of work he's you know he made a big he made a big big floater uh, plus his ball handling and his ability to make plays down the stretch uh, help us on the other end so uh, you know he made a great cut made a great pass to Demonte who got a wide open three and just missed it uh, that, those playmaking opportunities are just as important and and. You know, when he gets back truly in the 100% capacity and right, he's an elite defender as well. Brad, back in the back. Uh, as far as the team connectivity you were talking about, uh, it just seemed like guys were hustling to help guys up even today. Is that part of the energy that you're talking about, the togetherness, and, and how much does that really impact the game as well? It is the game. We can draw up X's and O's. You can all get draw up an X and O to get Kofi a basket. That's the truth. Uh, the reality, the reality is, it's 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 all about the other stuff, and they've got to they've got to want to fight and and play for each other, and uh, that's what I've challenged them with. And and when a guy makes a hard play and a, and somebody falls down, doggone it, we need to be have four other guys sprinting over there to pick him up, and 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 it can't be just in practice. It's it's got to be all the time, and and you know we win together, we lose together, 
Uh, we cry together. We laugh together. And uh, that's, that's the way it's always been here. You mentioned the broken play down the stretch. Did you want that shot for Trent? And then what does it mean to have that kind of guy when there's a lot on the line late in the year and all that he's been through? You know, uh, he went about 13 seconds too early. Um, the, 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 the play was an option for him and Kofi. And, and he just went early. And then all of a sudden we got Jake on the wrong side of the floor. We still had plenty of time. But, but now all of a sudden everybody's looking at me and Trent just jumps up and shoots it. Um, which, um, you know, it's what Trent does. Uh, he's so in the moment. I love the best thing about Trent is nothing that's happened bothers him, good or bad. He just plays the, that play, and uh, um, you know it's it's very nice to have a guy like that that is that is on your team and can go make a play. He made a lot of really good plays today.